In this episode, we're going to show you how to remove your valves from your head. All right. So usually the retainers uh, are usually stuck with the keepers. The keepers are inside, and you'll see those in a second. But um, usually, you got to whack these things. I got a brass uh, drift here, so I'm just going to give these a crack on a little bit of an angle, just to unseat them. <clears throat> and now when you get the trusty old lousy spring compressor and we put it on the bottom to the valve head and we try and manipulate the top ones. Now there we go and now we compress the springs. The factory ones are usually pretty good because they're not really strong. The aftermarket ones are kind of sketchy with this compressor. So you pull them out with a magnet, easiest way to pull it out. And then you release the spring tension and, and be prepared to catch the valve because sometimes they will fall out. Ah! Spring. And you got your petrified seal here. And actually, these guides are actually in really nice shape. Look at that. See the seat surface is pretty clean. Mm -hmm. It's really not too bad. But we're gonna re we're just gonna retouch them up. So there's one exhaust valve. Let's pull the in intake off next to it. Are the spring tensions on the exhaust and intake the same? On the factory ones. Yes. On some of the high performance factory ones, I don't believe they're the same. And I think some of the aftermarket ones I, I think are different. Mostly they're the same though. <clears throat> I don't believe there'd be a real reason for them to be two different tensions. These are brittle. Hmm. Now are those getting replaced or just not reused? Yeah, they're going to get replaced. Okay. And here's an intake. You can see all the deposits and crap mm. from the years. So now that's going to get what, wire wheeled off? Yeah, but the seat surface is nice. There's no cracks, no breaks. So those are good. Clean valves. <clears throat> and these are 906 heads, so this will have the larger exhaust valve. I think they're uh, 181s? Ah, I forget. I can't think. I can't remember the numbers. So that's just it. Uh, valves have two different retaining uh, styles. You got a two groove and a four groove on the stems. So obviously you have keepers that either have two grooves in them or four grooves in them. So uh -huh. that's the only thing that is going to be odd with them. All right. So you just feel it out here? Yeah, you just kind of put it underneath there, and then the, the lever will start to close down. And you, this is an old compressor, so these these tabs like to spread out. So once you start putting some tension on you kind of have to fight with it and get it on there. What if I'm like not seated right on the bottom of this valve? You, It will. It kind of self-centers itself. So you got to like spread this thing? You just, just start putting some tension on that thing. It'll open itself up. Like, get this like down there. There you go. Down this. Yep, okay. start closing it. So, there right, you go. Gotcha. See? Okay. Alright. Magnet here. Oh boy, my arm's probably right in the way no. of the shot. You got it. Now, so, sometimes you gotta kinda walk that, <clears throat> walk that retainer. Yeah, what an piece art of, form this is. Piece of cake, huh? See. I feel like is it not down enough? It might not be down far enough. Oh, so, there we go. Look, you gotta, I just gotta get some. You just have to manipulate the the head of the retainer like left and right, hmm. or back and forth, or. I feel like there we are. Yeah, you made it look so easy. I know. What the hell? That's why I wanted to watch you fail with it. 
If we want YouTube, ah, it's so easy. You just get the spring compressor and yank it right out. Nah. It's like you could add some more tension with this with this uh, screw down here. So I'm just gonna tighten it up, which will compress the spring a little right. bit more. You kind of have to rock the. Did you get it? I got yeah. one. Man. Well, it's, it's not hard. Just just I got, just I lean got. it over. You got one half out, and then the other one's a piece of cake. Gosh. These are office jockeys, I tell you what. <laughs> just let it go and it well, explodes. Well, slow. Release the tension slow. Yeah. There you are. Now what do I say about holding the valve oh, underneath? Oh, oh man. That's... So, just... Um, now what about as far as like keeping, uh, I guess it doesn't matter about... Orientation? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna keep those in line. What we'll do is we'll get them all out and then we'll label them. Um, with a flag of masking tape. Okay, these are not reusing, so that's just right. garbage. There it is. There's one, so put your spring on the, put your spring on the valve and put that down the far end of the table. Cause it's the other side of the head. Okay. There you go. Do the next one. Boy. Ooh. Ooh. See the snap? Jeez. Because you didn't watch the first first part of this video where I told you to hammer all those seats with the brass thing and I only did three. <laughs> and not all of them. So I was hoping it would stick a lot harder and then... What a clever SOB. Right? Yeah, well it's stuck. Now you just gotta do that 12 more times and that'll be it. Huh.